Stephen Dean Hoggs, killed December 30th, 1978. Nielsen's first victim was 14. When he met the killer in a pub, the evil killer then invited him back to his house before killing him. Nielsen kept his body in his flat for several months and even slept beside it. Kenneth Ockenden was killed December 3rd, 1979. He was Canadian tourist. He spent the day sightseeing with Nielsen after meeting him in a pub, then ending up at Nielsen's flat after agreeing to dinner and further drinks. He was one of only a few of Nielsen's victims who was recorded as a missing person. The young man was strangled with the lead of a set of headphones as Nielsen listened to a record. Martin Duffy, 16, killed May 17th, 1980. He was homeless and accepted Nielsen's invitation to stay the night at his house. He was killed by strangulation and drowning him in the kitchen sink before bathing his body. Two days later, Duffy's body was placed beneath the floorboards at Nielsen's home. William Sutherland killed August 20th, 1980. He was from Edinburgh, was 26 when he crossed paths with Nielsen. Sutherland occasionally worked as a male prostitute. Nielsen could not recall precisely how he had murdered Sutherland, other than that he had strangled. Between September 1980 or April 1981, there were seven more victims, but police never identified their remains were placed beneath the floorboards. Malcolm Barlow, killed September 18, 1981, then 23, was an epileptic orphan who had spent much of his life in care. Mr. Barlow was the final person to be killed by Nielsen at the Melrose Avenue after the killer had helped the young man to get medical help when suffering a seizure. Malcolm went back to Nielsen's home to thank him for his assistance, but was killed. Barlow's body was stowed in a kitchen cupboard as there was no further room beneath his floorboards before the psycho dissected his corpse. John Howlett killed March 1982. He was killed at Nielsen's second address. The 23-year-old had met Nielsen in a pub near Leicester Square before returning to his flat. Howlett awoke to find himself being strangled and Nielsen drowned Howlett by holding his head under water in a bathtub for five minutes. He then dismembered his body and flushed various organs down the toilet and put large bones out with the rubbish. Graham Allen killed September 1982. Tourist Graham Allen, 27, had been attempting to find his way to Shaftesbury Avenue in London's West End, but he bumped into Nielsen, who invited him back to his flat for dinner and subsequently killed him. Allen was strangled with a ligature, dissected portions of flesh and small bones from the body of Allen, subsequently blocked the drains at Cranley Gardens. Nilsen was not charged over his murder. Stephen Sinclair, 20, killed January 26, 1983. He was a heroin addict. Nilsen encountered Sinclair in Oxford Street. He invited him to his house after Sinclair had consumed alcohol and injected heroin at Nilsen's flat. Nilsen strangled him to death with a ligature. He was one of the victims. Nilsen identified by name, and he was charged with his murder on February 11, 1983.